Hello and welcome to Simple Stories in English. Luis enjoys his life as a rancher. He likes taking care of animals. Being on a ranch requires boots. Luis has a special friend that he wants to spend time with on the ranch. But she does not have boots. So, Luis decides to get her some. Luis goes all over town, including the shoe store, the bank, and the gas station, as he tries to buy the perfect boots. Will he be able to get what he wants? I hope you enjoy the boots. There is a boy. The boy's name is Luis. Luis is 16 years old. Luis is tall, dark, and handsome. Luis lives in Wyoming. He lives on a ranch in Wyoming. Luis is a rancher. He likes living and working on the ranch. He likes working with the animals on the ranch. But there is a problem. The animals on the ranch produce a lot of manure or poop. So Luis wears boots. He always wears boots. He likes boots. Luis has a special friend. Her name is Sally. Sally is pretty with long red hair. She isn't tall or short. She is average. Luis likes to spend time with Sally. He thinks Sally is perfect. With one exception. Sally doesn't have boots. Sally always wears sandals or cute shoes. She doesn't want animal manure on her cute shoes. So, Sally doesn't visit the ranch. Luis likes Sally a lot, and he wants to spend more time with her on the ranch. So, Luis decides to buy boots for Sally in the city. Luis has an old blue truck. Luis goes to the city in his truck. He goes to the shoe store in the city. The shoe store sells shoes, sandals, and boots. Luis enters the shoe store. In the shoe store, there is a man. The man is short, fat, and very nice. The man works in the shoe store. Hello. How may I help you? The man says. I am looking for boots. Luis responds. I have a lot of boots. The man says. Luis looks at the boots. There are brown boots, red boots, blue boots, pink boots, and purple boots. 
Luis likes the purple boots because purple is Sally's favorite color. How much are the purple boots? Luis asks the man. They cost two hundred fifty nine dollars, sir. The man answers. Luis is surprised. The boots cost a lot of money. Luis doesn't have enough money, and he doesn't have his credit card. Luis needs to go to the bank. Luis gets in his truck and goes to the bank. The bank has a lot of money services. The bank cashes checks, sends money to other people, and gives loans. It is also possible to take money out of an account. Luis enters the bank. In the bank, Luis sees a woman. She is tall and dark. The woman works in the bank. Hello, how may I help you? She says. I need money, Luis says. I have money," the woman says. Luis gives his bank account information to the woman, and the woman looks at Luis's money on the computer. Luis has enough money in the bank. How much money do you need? The woman asks. I need. Two hundred fifty-nine dollars, please," Luis answers. The woman counts out two hundred fifty-nine dollars and gives it to Luis. Luis takes the money and says, "Thank you." You're welcome," the woman responds. Luis runs to his truck. Now he has the money, and he needs to return to the shoe store to buy the purple boots. Luis goes to the shoe store in his old truck. After five minutes, the truck stops. It stops in the middle of the street. Luis looks at the controls and sees the problem. The truck is out of gas. Now, Luis. Has two problems. He needs to buy the boots for Sally, but he also needs to buy gas for his truck. Luis pushes the truck to the gas station. Luis decides that he needs gas. More than boots. In the gas station, Luis sees a man. The man is skinny, and of average height. The man works in the gas station. Hello, sir. How may I help you? The man asks Luis. I need gas," Luis answers. "I have gas," 
the man says. The man fills the truck's tank. The truck uses a lot of gas. When he is done, Luis asks, How much is it? Sixty-five dollars, the man answers. Luis counts $65 from the money he got at the bank. Luis is sad. Now he doesn't have enough money for the purple boots for Sally. And he doesn't have time to return to the bank. Luis decides to go to the shoe store. Maybe there are other boots that cost less money. Hello. Are you going to buy the purple boots? The man who works in the shoe store says when Luis enters. I don't have enough money for the purple boots, Luis answers. Luis counts his money. He originally had $259. The gasoline cost $65. So now... Luis has $194. Do you have boots that cost $194? Luis asks. The man looks at the boots. The red boots are only $194. So Luis buys the red boots for Sally. Luis prepares a fantastic night for Sally. Luis likes Sally a lot. Luis wants to go to an elegant restaurant, and he wants to give the boots to Sally in a romantic moment. Then he wants to walk with Sally in the ranch. Luis goes to Sally's house in his old truck. Sally lives in an enormous house in the city. In the truck, Luis talks a lot. Sally doesn't say anything. Sally just listens. In the elegant restaurant, Luis eats steak and potatoes. Sally eats a salad with chicken. Luis talks a lot. Sally doesn't say anything. Sally just eats and listens. After eating, Luis prepares a romantic moment. He wants everything to be perfect when he gives Sally the boots. Luis looks at Sally and says, Sally, I think you are fantastic. I want to spend more time with you. I want to walk a lot 
in the ranch with you. So I bought you these boots. Luis passes the boots to Sally. Sally does not accept the boots. She looks at the boots in disgust. Finally, Sally speaks. Luis, I don't like ranches. I don't like boots. I don't like walking in animal poop. I don't like your old truck and I don't like the color red. Goodbye. Luis is very surprised and sad. Sally takes an Uber to her house and Luis walks to his truck alone. When he is walking, Luis has an idea. Luis decides to visit the house of one of Sally's friends. Luis goes to Hilda's house. Hilda is very nice. She lives on a ranch too. She doesn't have problems with animal poop or old trucks. Luis knocks on the door and looks at Hilda. Hilda opens the door and Luis says, Hello, Hilda. I bought you some boots. I love red, Hilda says with a smile. Do you want to walk on the ranch with me? The end. You can find a transcript of today's story as well as other stories and learning and teaching aids on my website, smalltownspanishteacher.com. This story was an original work by Camilla Given. Any resemblance to stories by other authors is purely coincidental unless otherwise noted. If you have an idea for a story or a story you would like read, feel free to email me at smalltownspanishteacher at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified of future episodes of Simple Stories in English.